Hello. Okay, so we're going to continue the extended on this love reading. And we're going to get some more tarot here. I'm thinking, what is this hermit card here? What is what is this this hermit, this snake, this this blockage that's going on with Yeah. The hermit, I don't know, can you see? You probably can't see. All right, so I was just kind of focusing on the hermit, and I was wondering what that is. And we have the Fool card, we have the Hierophant, we have the Queen of Swords, we have the Six of Swords, and we have the Three of Swords. I feel like your, you feel like your partner had stabbed you in the heart. I feel like you had trust and faith in that person, and they did something that hurt you, that stabbed you, that made you feel alone, that made you feel put up your walls. And you're, I feel like it's something that, something that you haven't been able to move past that you keep, that you're holding on to. And that can go back to the separation and that can go back to this three, this five of cups here. There's, they, you believe, I feel like maybe you felt like, you believe that they had your back in a situation and they really didn't. That, that maybe you were trying to do something or you were trying to... There was a situation where you felt, okay, my partner has my back and they let you down. Like they weren't there to support you and you're like, whoa, this is big here, right? I thought you had my back. I thought you were looking out for me. I thought that you were on my side and I feel like... Even though you may have had that discussion to work through this, I feel like there, re there really was no resolution to it. I feel like there was, but there wasn't it. Or there, it didn't get to go to that deeper level where you really f felt some answers about why that person didn't have your back. And that's a big thing in a, in a relationship. You know, that's a big thing when you, when you think that, you know, your partner has your back and they don't, that's a huge letdown and that can cause a big wedge um, between the two of you. So I feel like that is what needs to be worked on, right? Um, I'm looking at this Five of Cups here. We have the Emperor, which is Aries, so it could be an Aries. Um... I almost feel like maybe that person felt like they didn't need to have your back and that they kind of left you out there on the island by yourself. And they're like, oh, they thought that you had a handle on the situation. And so I feel like maybe they were feeling like they didn't need to step in. And maybe they weren't realizing how much you needed them to step in and to support them. And to be on, on your side, that they didn't realize that. And maybe there, there wasn't that, that clarity with that. And they were like, oh, no, my part, you know, they were thinking, oh, no, like you have control of the situation, but you really didn't. I feel like that major miscommunication between the two of you. Um, and I feel like enough, there wasn't enough spoken, if you've tried to work this out before, that there wasn't enough spoken between the two of you. I feel like it was kind of surfacely skimmed over, right? That it didn't really get, and maybe you don't even know, maybe you're, you're not even realizing like, like why do you feel that way? And, and maybe you need to go deeper into that, you know, feeling of that you thought that they had your back and they didn't, but they thought that you were okay, but you really weren't. And maybe you need to go deeper into why you felt that, you know, you wanted them to have your back and they didn't. And that may have triggered something that had happened in your past, right? Um, yeah. So we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Devil card. I feel like moving forward that you need, really need to speak up for yourself more and be more clear about what you're feeling because I feel like you're almost assuming that the other person should know how you feel, right? Because maybe you've been with this person for a long time and you're like, well, you should know how I feel. 
and you should be a mind reader and that you were expecting maybe more from this person than you were expecting more from this person than maybe they were understanding that they were capable of. And I feel like there has to be some clarity here. I feel like there's some, there's, there has to be some clarity in this. But I also feel like you need to speak up more about what it is that you need. And maybe you're not sure what it is that you need, but you have to figure that out first. You can't just assume if you're not sure what it is that you need from that other person, then how do you expect that other person to figure out what it is that you need, right? So I feel like that's what you have to figure out first is what is it? with the hermit is what do you need? And then having that communication moving forward, having that communication to explain that to your partner, right? So that they have that clarity because maybe they're missing that clarity. Maybe they're, they're, they're assuming, I feel like your partner is, is assuming, right? We had the page of swords literally fly out, but he is reversed. No more bad energy. No more waiting, right? Maybe it's no more waiting because the page of swords is delayed energy, but I feel like there's no more waiting to say how you feel and what you have going on because maybe you wait. You are waiting to see how your partner was going to react to something or how your partner, if your partner was going to do something. There's something that you had wanted your partner to do and maybe you were waiting to see, okay, are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? And they didn't do that. And now you've kind of realized, okay, no more waiting. You're playing those games. I feel somebody was playing games, right? You were testing someone. You were trying to see, okay, are they going to respond the way that I want them to? And I feel like they did not. And that really caused a wedge between the two of you. Um, deception. Yeah, that's what I feel like. Somebody's playing games here. I feel like there's somebody that's playing a game here. I'm kind of feeling like it's this person, right? It's you that were you, were you playing that game to see, okay, are they going to do what they want them to do? But I feel like they weren't given enough information that they weren't really, they were assuming one thing you were trying to test them to see if they were going to respond in a certain way and they didn't. And it's almost like the whole thing just exploded, right? Blew up. I feel like definitely you have to do that inner work. We have the hermit card yet again, which I had a feeling that was going to come out again. Doing that inner work on that path within ourselves and seeing if you're testing your partner, why are you testing your partner, right? Are you trying to prove yourself right in something? But I feel like it's in a negative way. But I almost feel like it's, what kind of partnership is that? But I feel like it's something deeper that goes back within what you have going on with you, right? Back and forth with something. I almost feel like within that you were doing this and you're like, Part of you is like, why am I doing this? But part of you, I feel like vindictive. I don't know. Something was, 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 that word just came out to me and I went back to this devil card. Because it's, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. So it's almost like you want to be positive and you want to be good. But I also feel that there is this streak within that is okay it's almost like wanting to get somebody back, somebody, right? Or to test someone that there's that energy in there too. And I feel like that's what you're, you're going back and forth with is testing that person, but looking within, right? What are those feelings? What's going on? I feel like it doesn't have to do with your partner. I feel like it has to do with something in your past that you're testing to see if that person is going to react the way this past situation did. And I feel like it's kind of an unfair test to this relationship here, to this person here. I feel like it's kind of unfair. But I have to feel, again, with these two hermit cards, that could also be Virgo. I feel like you really need to look within and find those answers on why are you having these feelings? Why are you testing this person? Why are you, why do you feel that you don't trust that person? Why do you feel that you were left out in the cold, right? And I feel like by doing that, you'll be able to get this relationship back on track. 
but I definitely feel like there is, there's a lot going on here, but I feel like it has to do within yourself. I'm not saying that the other person is innocent. That's not what I'm saying. But I feel like there's a lot going on within yourself that you have to look at. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. I feel like this you're going to be able to get past this. I feel like this is a new beginning. This is a new start. That this, I feel like it's going to bring this relationship closer together. Or it could... I don't see any breakups here. I don't see the tower. I don't see walking away. But I feel like it's going to bring this relationship closer together. But it's definitely a lot of inner work that you need to do on yourself, right? That you need to work through. And I definitely feel like communication is a big thing. Making sure that you communicate to your partner and not assume that they know how you're feeling. Because I feel like you don't even know how you're feeling. You have to figure that out first. And have that communication and have that partnership, right? Because we have the unity card here. It's, it's that partnership. I don't feel like it's a partnership. But I feel like it could be the one. I feel like this person could be the one. I feel like you guys have been gone through a lot, right? So for some reason, I'm feeling like what's underneath? Oh, I love it. Look at that. Surprise, surprise. There's a ton of pentacles underneath this new start. That's what I was saying is I feel like doing this work really brings out like this 10 of pentacles and that you will be surprised how rewarding it is not only for yourself right that individual empowerment which we have over here with the magician is that individual empowerment that empowerment within yourself and to be able to find some of those answers within yourself but I also feel like it's that partnership that becomes stronger and it brings this relationship to a deeper level there's a lot of growing going on here for you there's a lot of um, self-realizations that maybe you were and, and maybe the situation that happened with your partner that that has had all of this bubbles to the surface that it's brought out all of the emotions and all of these feelings and it's brought out this whole thing like everything has bubbled to the surface the situation that has happened between you and your partner has brought this all to the per to the surface and it's like okay how are you going to handle that are you going to sweep it back under the rug but I feel this is so big that you can't sweep it under the rug but it's time for you to take a closer look at those feelings within and doing that soul searching right right doing those soul searching within but I feel like it really makes the bond within this relationship even stronger but I feel like mostly it makes the bond that you have with yourself even better which is a good thing I feel all right so let's close out with an animal oracle look at that I love it peacock spirit let it shine let yourself shine and we have kind of where's I don't know if that's where his heart is but kind of within there shining right let that inner you shine I feel like maybe you have been holding back that you haven't been able to shine you haven't been able to come into your own right coming into your own and you haven't been able to shine and you haven't been really able to be yourself and that once you let go of this energy that you have that you're holding on to that I feel this from the past and you let that go that anger and that hurt go I feel like you are going to shine beautifully Right, that is going to put you in this whole new space that is absolutely amazing. And I love it. I love personal growth. But this helps this relationship too. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.